it's Desiree. I am here again with Spellbinders. I love this week. I always love this week of the month. Um, and today I am featuring the Large Die um, Kit of the Month by Spellbinders called Strawberry Patch. It is absolutely adorable. And once again, I'm going to pull in the embossing folder for the month. And this is called Intertwined Lattice. It gives a beautiful, beautiful design. You can see here, if you're using your Platinum 6, you just need to put your cardstock inside your folder on top of the platform with one cutting plate. And you can see my plates are well loved. It's time to change them, I think, finally. For this one, I'm grabbing my Hero Arts White Pigment Ink and lightly just uh, brushing over the top of that embossed panel. And I'm going to take a moment just to dry it. Now, before I put it inside of my embossing folder, I did spritz it with some water. Not a degaussing here. We don't need to drench it. Um, but just a light spritz so that those fibers won't break, but rather they'll bend. I'm setting up my card base here, which is a standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to use my two inch film, double sided film tape by Uline. I get asked a lot of questions on this tape. I do get it from Uline. It is a warehouse uh, shipping company. It is extremely strong tape. Um, it is not forgiving, but it is a great double-sided tape. It comes in all sizes, quarter inch, half inch, um, and I'm finding I'm liking it more and more. But it also flattens out that panel as it will continue to dry. I use it a lot when I watercolor um, or create my ink smush backgrounds and I want them to get flat. Um, but it is a great, a great tape. So I'm start, I took care of all of my die cutting. I'm going to start with the basket. So the top portion, I, or this lattice part, I've die cut multiple times. And then I've just cut a piece that fits on the back that can cover that up to make it solid. Because so I don't want the blue to come through. And I'm going to go around the edges with my vintage photo, of course, um, just to give it some depth. And I'm coming in on the sides, too, just to make it look a little round so that it looks like I have a highlight in the center of that basket. And here is the main part of the die, the main vine. And I die cut this multiple times from a, usually, I mean, it's, usually I don't use something this bright, but it's a beautiful green. And what's nice with this die set they have a secondary piece. So it's actually a layering die set. Um, so after I have these built up, just to give it more stability, more strength, because those, those vines are really very dainty, um, which is wonderful. But, you know, I, I'm a little forceful, you know, with my papers. And I didn't want to have them bend. Plus, this will add a lot of dimension um, onto my card front. But you can see on these leaves, I have a lighter green that's going to come in. And you put that on uh, half of the leaves. So it looks like the, the leaf is two-toned, um, which I think is really great. Um, this will help one to get you through scraps. Absolutely. Um, because we all keep our scraps. We can't, you know, let them go. I am one of those, um, but it can give you that two-tone effect if you didn't want to add ink or anything else like that. The layering uh, will actually give you that effect, which I think is great. So you can see they just go on one side of the leaf, and I'm going to attach those for those that are already on my card, just putting those in place. And then they also have a die with the leaf individual and its layering piece. And then they also have smaller leaves for on top of the strawberries. And you'll see those once we get to them. But I think these, these leaves are gorgeous and they can be used for any card. So when you have this, you can use this in other cards if you have other florals or other greens um, and so forth. So it's a great match that we have these separate leaves that you can die cut as well. So once they're set, I'm going to pull in the bands for, <clears throat> excuse me, for the bucket. So I was looking at different ways that I could put them, and I really went with this way. I have it come from underneath. 
to make it look like a handle. I'm sure it's supposed to go on another way. But I really liked that look. I'm just going to get those set. Almost forgot about those. And I did use the Gold Mirror cardstock by Spellbinders uh, to put those on. Here are the strawberries. Again, another two part die. So I used white for the base and then I used uh, bright red for the top. I will be doing inking on the strawberries and the little flowers that are for the strawberries as well. So I'm just layering those up. It's real simple and you have um, different sizes that you can cut with the strawberries, which I think is great. I think it's a small, medium, and a large. The inks that I will be using are my Distress inks. Um, and I'm going to be using my Finger Daubers. And this is Aged Mahogany that I'm putting around my strawberries and really going a little heavier on the bottom and one side again to give that shaded look give it a rounded look so I'm going to be heavier on one side with my inks and on the bottom than the other just to give them some dimension just because they're flat die cuts does not mean we cannot add dimension to our die cuts which I think is great So finishing these up, and I'm also putting a little bit more up in the crevice, up at the top part. I'm pulling in mustard seed. You can see these little white flowers, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the center of each of those flowers. Now you could also add pearls if you wanted to, or gems, or sequins, or your nouveau drops. Possibilities are endless with what's available to us. And here are those smaller leaves. Um, that also come into that kit and now it's time to have fun to place all of our strawberries i am going to use some double-sided foam squares in some areas i'm going to double double up <laughs> those fun uh those foam squares uh, because of the way that everything is placed and i'm just placing these throughout creating little tiny bunches. When I get near the, the basket, that's where I have to double up on the double uh, foam squares because I already have a layer of double-sided foam squares under the basket. And I put that one up there and I'm like, no, I didn't like that. So I'm actually going to have that one coming down um, onto the basket as if it fell off the vine. So now that I have the strawberries placed, now I'm going to have fun putting all of my leaves around the strawberries. So I'm actually building up this vine. I'm trimming off the areas that are going to peek from underneath and that I don't want to peek underneath. Just adding a little bit of glue at the base and making sure I'm pushing down to make sure I get contact between the strawberry and the base of the card. Trying to figure out where I want to put this one. I decide, end up going towards the bottom um, of both of those. Took me a while to get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add the smaller leaves on top and I'm going to be adding two to each of the strawberries. Because then once I have the two down, there's going to be a flower that's going to um, sit on top of it. I thought that just added a little bit of something. And again, just adding glue to the tips. I, I very rarely will put, when I'm doing something like this, setting up a scene or collaging, to get glue all the way out to the end. I like it if it curls up a little bit, it adds a little bit more dimension to the cards. Plus, if I forgot something, I still have time to tuck it in underneath. Um, even if I just have to cut down um, that die cut uh, to get in there. If you are hearing my cat, I do apologize. He's actually snoring. 
and he's literally laying right next to me onto my table. So I do apologize if you can hear that. I'm actually going to take two of the layering pieces and layer them upon each other. I know they're the same size, but they just add a little bit of a different leaf and I'm gonna have that coming up from the base of the basket. And that is our cute note card. It's perfect for any occasion. Um, so it's ready to go just to add your sentiment whenever you need it or when that occasion just pops up. I hope you enjoyed today's card featuring the large die and the embossing folder from Spellbinders for August. I will have a link to their shop, um, to these products that I've used and all of the other clubs if you wanted to check them out. They have so many available um, for you to choose from. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And most importantly, I'm going to have a link to their blog so that you can get even more inspiration for these products and so many others. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. But most of all, enjoy your day. I hope it's a good one. I hope you're having some great weather. We are finally having some good weather. It's a little hot, but that's okay. That's okay. It's sun. It's not rain or anything else. Uh, but most of all, uh, while you're creating your art, just remember what's most important. Always be creative. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then, take care, guys.